What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And today we got our normal weekly update. I will link the newswire down in the description below if you would like to read over it for yourself. Of course, the first thing we're going to talk about today is the new legendary bounty. This is an ex-military sharpshooter, so they say you know he is extremely accurate with a rifle. He also has a gang that are highly trained ex-military uh, style people. They said they have pretty much a uh, wired Roanoke Ridge with tr booby traps and explosives. So it says approach with considerable caution. So this week's bounty looks to have changed it up a little bit the way, you know, the, uh, the character in the gang is kind of acting. And this is a, a pretty neat or cool sounding bounty. It seems like it's going to offer some different challenges. Of course, we got some new clothing today. All the clothing items that were added today are limited time only. We got a couple new hats, poncho, a coat and a vest and a pair of pants. Make sure you check out the Wheeler, Rawson and Co. book or go in the store before those, you know, are gone because they're only going to be a limited time, so they won't be in the store very long. Also, the Free Aim series got a new survival match, which is called Name Your Weapon. We did get a new collection this week, the Naturalist Collection, a cherry wood comb, an egret egg, and bitterweed. Also, anyone that has not, this is newcomers to the frontier, if you have not purchased the bounty hunter license, the butcher's table, or the collector satchel, you're going to be able to do that for a limited time five gold bar discount from now until October the uh, 14th. So you can purchase any of those three rolls for 10 gold bars instead of the normal 15. So make sure that you definitely get into that if you have not purchased all the rolls yet or if you are new to the game. So there are also plenty of rewards uh, for to offer this week, including 5,000 club XP for playing Red Dead Online, and also a 30% extra character and role XP for all role missions, challenges, and events. So anything that you can do this week within the Bounty Hunter, so all bounty missions, including legendary and PvP bounties, Manhunt, and Day of Reckoning free roam events, all daily challenges, uh, for the bounty hunter, of course, will receive this 30 extra XP. For the trader, all sell missions, all daily challenges, and trade route free roam events. And for the collector, collecting coins, family heirlooms, and wildflowers, all weekly set sale and collection set sales, salvage and condor egg free roam events, and daily challenges. So you'll receive 30 extra, 30% 30 extra character and roll XP. Also, if you play GTA Online, you can unlock the Slaughter Mask for Red Dead Redemption 2. This is, of course, kind of going along with the Halloween thing. Uh, it says, simply play GTA Online between October the 10th and the 12th, and you will unlock this free mask to wear in your adventures in Red Dead Online. Hopefully, they will maybe do some kind of event for Halloween. I know a lot of people are kind of speculating that. Um, there's been no real word on that yet. Hopefully we'll get some news about that in the upcoming weeks. I think a Halloween event within the game would be kind of neat. Maybe add some things to the uh, to the Outlaw Pass, you know, things that you could get in this kind of the free section up there just for Halloween. So if you play, you can unlock some Halloween kind of theme items. That might be a cool idea. Or just some kind of Halloween themed events going on. I don't know what they could really do, but I think it would be pretty neat in my opinion. Now this week we did not get any kind of physical update for the game. You know, the first two weeks that Frontier Pursuit was out, our first two weekly news wires, we did get a real, you know, hard kind of download that you had to actually go into your platform and download physically. Of course, it was for bugs and improved gameplay and things like that. I was hoping we might get something like that this week, considering the camp bug and some other bugs that are still going on in game, but no news on that yet. Of course, if anything comes out, I will make a separate video for that and let you guys know. Of course, guys, like I said, this is all linked down in the description below if you would like to read over it for yourself. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.